grocery haul. <laughs> The absence of someone seems to be the only source of my unhappiness. I am heading to Harry Styles. I can't wait until the day that I overcome the test that just keeps on popping up. Hi everyone, happy Monday. This week is pretty damn exciting. I am heading to Harry Styles. I'm heading to Auckland today with one of my very best friends and we are going to go to Harry Styles on Tuesday night. I've just come back from Rarotonga as you guys would have seen my last video. So I am feeling very, very grateful and lucky that I've been able to kind of do these things within the last couple of weeks. As soon as I do get back from Harry Styles and back from Auckland and settle down, and continue working etc it will be a nice kind of relaxing time for me because I feel like I've just been go 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 it is currently nine o'clock in the morning and we need to head out around like 2 p.m. to ensure that we you know we um, make the flight and stuff if you've watched the Rarotonga vlog all the way into the end you know my airport drama so I said to my friend we need to leave and give ourselves like ample time to put everything through even though we're not checking a bag in I don't want that airport drama I've just finished packing it was so heavy it's almost as if I didn't just go away and I forgot how to pack. So I didn't want to vlog it because I was just really stressed out about it. I'll show you my outfit as well. My friend gave me heaps of stuff and I feel like I'm just living through her right now because I just haven't worn anything else other than the things that she's given me. I'm very, very grateful that I love the clothes and she didn't want them. <laughs> but I'm just wearing this like little white tank, brown colored um, tights. There's a few things on my to-do list. Um, I'm kind of hoping to have everything done by 11 um, so that I can hang out with my sister because my sister is in town. First thing says is just to tidy my house and give it a quick run over. of March. I wasn't going to film like a weekly vlog or anything this week and I don't even know what this type of video is. I just needed to talk. I feel like I know that I'm not a burden but it is a work day and there's a lot of people that are busy right now and I just needed like in this moment I knew that I needed to kind of talk to somebody. I thought to myself that I would vlog it and if it ever makes the internet great and if it doesn't all good. <laughs> I am struggling a lot and I think this definitely comes from being away on holiday. My my mental health always seems to struggle straight after a holiday and I'm not entirely too sure why I think maybe like I don't know you ignore when you're on holiday you ignore everything like you ignore the stresses and stuff that are happening in your life I also know that I'm not showing up for myself if you don't think that you're happy or like in a really good place and you don't drink water a hundred percent you should be drinking water because I notice when I don't drink water this is how I feel it's so interesting that like water actually is something scientifically like proven to make you happier and it's just so interesting because when I don't drink water I feel the effect. I have a specific like pump bottle that you can buy from the supermarket that makes me drink. I'm gonna go buy that. I haven't been showing up for myself either in terms of eating. Don't even have any groceries in my fridge. Probably what this afternoon is going to be once I finish work. I just had to take a little debrief. Like I was crying at my computer screen and I, I am getting my work done today and it's actually been really productive and really great. I just know that I'm gonna burn out and take more time off. I've already taken two weeks off pretty much. I only went back yesterday today and for me to be to burn myself out only the second day of when I've come back I know that I need to start showing up for myself and I know that I need to, to give myself that little bit of time because I would give it to anybody else so why shouldn't I be giving it to myself this quote I was watching this TikTok or something yeah, I think it was a TikTok I was watching it. Made so much sense. I am so happy and grateful and I'm living my best life. I'm happy with my friends. I'm happy with my family. I've got great support. I'm happy in my job. I'm happy with my house. I love living alone. I love everything that is surrounding me. The only thing this is like the quote the absence of someone seems to be the only source of my unhappiness which is so true because like i literally just said i'm so happy in every single aspect of my life even being financially unstable at the moment doesn't seem to affect me like as much as having nobody does like to love romantically i've always like appreciated this i don't know if it's a saying or whatever but it's like give yourself five minutes to grieve give yourself five minutes to talk about 
whatever's going on. Feel any type of emotion that you want to feel. And then you've got to pick yourself back up and move on. Because the longer you dwell on the situation the longer you think about it you're actually just putting yourself into that hole not actually giving yourself the time or the energy or the effort to like move on i want to give myself the love that i deserve i'm going to show you guys a little bit later a book that i read while i was in rarotonga and a book that has just made me appreciate myself and my love and my worth so much so much more i'm literally turning everything in to a positive because we can't live in a negative mindset and a toxic mindset things are working out for me right now now and the universe is testing me and talking to the camera it just makes me feel so much better because I just needed to talk some someone in this moment and I knew right away that I had to film so grateful that I have these opportunities um that even come up whether they're tests or not because it makes me the person that I am and it makes me realize do I want to settle or do I want to be a better person and do I want to have better opportunities in the future and I do I want to settle for something that is not it I am learning to give the same respect and love and understanding that I give to other people to myself so I'm allowing myself to feel this and then I'm gonna pick myself back up and I'm going to be okay I am okay it's just a spanner in the works in this moment right now since I've been talking to the camera for about 10 minutes I feel so grateful I feel so happy I feel so aligned with how I don't know like I just feel better I just feel better if so I need to do like a grocery shop there's a message to anybody out there that if you are feeling stuck remember it's okay remember to allow yourself to have the moment don't ignore it like acknowledge it own it because it's only going to get better from here so I love you and I love me and I am my own best friend and I love my own company and I'm so happy right now it's all thanks to me all thanks to me talking to a camera anyway I'm gonna go and I'll talk to you guys later grocery haul I have a lot of the groceries already in my fridge or my freezer I'm gonna show you what I got anyway because I actually have been going out lots like today I have a lunch and a dinner and I already went out for a, a drink I'm just spending a lot more money, so I'm trying to be more mindful going forward. I have done these meals for at least 20 days. I get myself three major meals that I can use for a period over like a couple of days, like five days I'm kind of hoping. Um, and then I've done five different meals that I'll just have like per night, just as kind of like a cheat meal. And honestly, I spent $160, which normally I can spend anywhere between, I don't know, like 67 to $100. I didn't really get that for a fortnight, and I did get quite a lot of extra things so I'm going to share with you what I got the first thing I got is just some deviled sausage simmer sauce I got two of these I got some veggie straws these are my favorite like type of healthy chip that are quite expensive though eggs wraps brown wipe light bulb crackers tuna and crackers another simmer sauce bags teriyaki beef stir fry pasta sauce deodorant feta dip carrot sausages spinach ham apples fish mac and cheese pasta stir fry beef and towel apple juice friskies i'm pretty happy and pretty impressed with all of the stuff that i and i also decided what my meals were going to be so i did already have some things at home my meals for the next 20 days i'm pretty sure i like tried to do was i'm gonna have a beef stir fry and i have enough beef just for like one or two makings i have deviled sausages i have pizza my wrap pizzas that i make i have some dumplings left over and then i've got two microwave cheat meal days and i also have pasta that i'm going to make for the next like 20 days i'm so excited for and like that is my grocery haul. Good afternoon everybody happy Sunday it is currently Sunday the 19th of March I wanted to come on here and end the vlog but I also wanted to just chat to you guys a little bit um about a book I mentioned it earlier in this vlog I think on like a Friday I was going to upload this video because I wasn't really too sure what even content I had in this video I decided that I was the last couple of weeks have been an emotional ride for me I think I've been really go 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 the last couple of of months but with a lot of activities on which I'm super super grateful however it's always nice to come back and kind of recoup while I was in Rarotonga I decided to read this great 
book here. I should also preference that I am not much of like a self-love reader type of girl. I like to read fiction. I decided to give it a go and I fell in love and I read it within two to three days. So it's called Manifest Seven Steps to Living Your Best Life and it is by Roxy. I'm not 100% sure how to say her last name so I'm not going to butcher it. Since reading this book I've brought myself a journal that I can manifest in, that I can write my gratitude in. I've also watched a lot of like podcast videos that she's been been in and I've changed my mindset and this book has actually helped me so much especially with the last two weeks where I was feeling a little bit in a rut I was feeling emotional I kind of always came back to this book I definitely want to dive into it again I haven't read it for a wee while since I came back from Rarotonga knowing that other people have been in situations that I have been in but have overcome it and come out so much better by just aligning their behavior and manifesting the reality that they want and obviously I'm not an expert so I would highly recommend reading this book I also got my friend Kate onto it um she reads it on audible um, and she loves it as well so it's definitely worth the investment this is not my copy so i am going to go out and purchase this copy plus her new book that has come out i think it's manifest dive deeper i'm just so grateful i'm able to like read this it's like when someone confronts you about something that you've done wrong or whatever like it hurts it gives you a little bit of anxiety this book did that but in the best way possible and i'm so grateful it did because i'm able to realize what my limiting beliefs are really what I actually thought of myself and so much more it's so wild I'm obviously not here to preach to you that this is the way to go in life and all of that type of stuff I understand that if you don't believe in manifesting that's absolutely fine and I'm not here to like preach it to you this is my own kind of thoughts and while this is my YouTube channel I just want to express my thoughts I loved this book and cannot recommend it enough um, I am going to go and reread it it felt like myself slip a little bit in terms of like nasty talk that I say to myself and I just want to change that perspective a little and realize that I am worth so much more than what I allow myself to settle for and the biggest thing that I've learned and I'm sure a lot of people who read that book have learned as well is you can't just manifest something like you have to work towards it you have to like align your behavior and your attitude and you have to feel it and you want like have to actually want it self-love is such a big part of the manifesting journey and just realizing that you are capable of living the life that you that you desire and I think for me I have had so much limiting belief so much self-doubt nothing comes out of it and like I don't manifest the things that I want to manifest so I'm doing my gratitudes I'm doing my affirmations I'm falling asleep to you know nice affirmations and nice soft sounds and I wake up and I feel very grateful and, and I'm trying to not doubt myself as much I think the self-doubt is definitely the worst or the hardest for me allowing myself to settle for less because like I think that's what I'm worthy of when I know that I do deserve so much more but it's just kind of reiterating that to myself so that I do eventually believe it because because I actually do love myself and it's crazy to think that like this time last year or even like a year before that like I just I didn't I didn't think that I could love myself I definitely am improving and it is taking small steps but I'm very very grateful for where I am if we take a look back I've come so far and I'm so freaking proud of myself I wouldn't have really 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 appreciated how far I've actually come if it wasn't for the book so I'm super super grateful for that and I'm super proud of myself for sticking to reading it allowing myself to change that perspective just please read the book like if you're into this stuff and you want to like learn about it I am literally preaching to myself at this point in time because I do need to reread it again and do need to purchase my own copy of it there's a step called overcoming the tests from the universe I still am getting tests from the universe and I'm still not overcoming them all the way but I can't wait until the day that I overcome the test that just keeps on popping up and I'm just so excited and I can't wait and it's gonna feel so freaking great and I'm gonna be so proud of myself when I overcome that test but I'm still learning with that all being said I am actually going to end the vlog here thank you so much for all the love and support that you guys have given me I'm truly truly grateful and I can't wait to make more YouTube videos for you guys but I hope you have a great day or night wherever you may be and I'll see you next time bye everyone